Hello fellow YouTubers, Trouble8385 here with YouTube Gaming Community number 62. Okay, today we're gonna we're gonna breach a very sensitive subject. I know I said I wasn't gonna personally call somebody out for a video. I cannot talk about the subject without talking about the person in the video they put up. Okay, a lot of you may know him as Deadman, Deadman Gaming's channel. He put up a video called Die America Die. I'm not here to attack the person. If you know me, you probably know what I think of, of this video. But the point I want to talk about, what relates to this video, now are the effects of making a video like this. But remember, no matter what country you live in, you need to be aware of what your laws are and what law where you can or cannot cross a line. Listen, there is a line you can, that even though know, your country may say there's freedom of speech that you can't talk about. It's even more dangerous with a visual aid to go along with what you're saying. It makes that message even more potent. Now, this video, and I watched it several times, at no time, even at the very end, did I get the kidding that this video was kidding, that this video was meant as a joke. If I were somebody who watched this video, who never ever watched this person's video before, if, if this this judge, this video itself, the way this video was made, could be considered an act of terrorism or promoting terrorism. If a judge or an attorney sat and watched this video, not knowing the person, just watched this video, this person could technically legally get in trouble with the right person watching this video. You need to know the laws of where you go. Listen, it is easy to get in front of the camera and blab about anything and give your opinion. There are certain points where there's a line where you say, you know what, oh, I'm not going to cross the line. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to talk about this. If it gets to the point where you have to make a video on something that is dark, hateful, in your heart, then it is a time to step away from YouTube. It is time to sit there, evaluate your life, say, whoa, what is going on with me? Because when you make a video like this, you cannot take this video back with people on YouTube who are your friends or people. The subscriber count, because of this video, I watched it dropped like a rock throughout the day. I couldn't imagine if I made a video like that, my family and friends seeing that video. I have no idea what if this video violates YouTube partnership rules or not. But even if it doesn't, can you imagine? YouTube might just you know what? Even though you don't violate the rules, I'm sure somewhere in there it says at any time they could they don't want they could take partnership, but they, they don't want to. We don't want to be associated with someone who makes videos like this. Oh, he's closed his channels down. I really hope nothing legally happens to him. Because if you legally get convicted for something like this, something we're talking major, we're not talking no little misdemeanor here, this will follow you for the rest of your life. Every time you move, as people find out, they'll judge you based on that. Any time you apply for a job, it'll be there. Your family, your friends may see that video. And, and I mean... This is really serious business with a video like this we're talking about. This is no joke. This is no, oh, this person said something about somebody else. This is drawing, uh, crossing a line never, ever, you should ever go close to. Please, be aware of the rules and the laws of where you live at when you make your videos. Um, uh, where the line don't cross for your country. Every country is different. Every country has a different line. Where you can make a video in your country and it's, it's acceptable, but that, but maybe YouTube in this country is, but the other countries that video may be blocked on YouTube because it crosses a line for them. So just be aware of what yours is. Please. Anyway, let's get to the comments for YouTube Gaming Community number 61. And I was talking about, was there ever a subscriber count that maybe uh, you thought was untainable? And what if you did cross over your reaction to it? Well, the first one's by the Atari Junkie, and he said, Also for me at least, I think I'm thinking like you was, that a thousand subs is unattainable for me, at least not for a very long while. He says five years plus or so. Well, hopefully it's not that long. I mean, you'd be amazed how time sometimes you know, subscribers come in like, almost like grows, you know. You'll get close to a certain number, and you'll just sit there, right, and you're like, I'm never going to cross that number. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you not only cross that number, you just blow that number away. 
Next up is RPK Game Vids. His was, to be honest, I really don't know how many subscribers I end up with when I first started off. I thought it could either go either way. Either I'd never get any more than about 50, or I could end up hitting some really big numbers like other big channels on here. So far, I've been here for a year and three months, and I'm nearly at 500 subscribers. I feel quite happy with that. I think I'm not done too bad. That's really cool. Next, Spin the Demons comment was, I never thought I would even get a sub. Now I'm at 80 and blown away by that. You are at 1,000. That's insane madness. You know, ironically, Spin the Demon, when I first started on YouTube and we can go back six months, I kind of sat on 80 for a very long time. And I, I thought, if I my one-year mark, if I got to 100, I'd be happy. Never thought about anything past that. Anyway, so... Now let's get to channels to check out. And the first one, Riff Exclusive, wanted me to shout out. He said, I got a channel tip for you. There's this guy that makes World of Warcraft guides and Minecraft guides. I think he's really awesome and his guides are very helpful. He goes by the name The Amazing YouTuber here on YouTube. And I'll put both their links below. Next up is Cage137. He has 17 subs. And he, he described his channel to me. My channel is still new. So, still going to have a lot of work on, lol. So my channel is going to be about 90% RPGs, retro game unboxing, game collections, and coming soon, video game reviews. So, check his channel out. Next up is Super 90s Gamer. Now, you may know him. He used to be Sega Gen Player. What happened was he got hacked, and now he's back with a new channel. Right now, the only videos he has up in his channel are Sonic the Hedgehog walkthroughs. So if you used to be subbed to Sega Genna Player or you want to see Sonic the Hedgehog walkthrough, check his channel out. Then one of those funny, cute channels I happen to come across. Uh, everybody, if you know who Inner Ghost is, uh, there's also a channel called Kids of Inner Ghost. It has 22 subs, and they're actually his kids. And they have four videos up. So if you're interested, check that out. And Bakeman13 wanted me to shout out a bunch of channels that he gave me a list for. And the first one is Gurion79. He has 96 subs. He does gameplay, reviews. He does he goes over systems, controllers, and he does outtake videos. Next up is OptTube. He has 270 subs. He does reviews, and I know he's done sub specials. Next up is Killer Grizz. He has 196 subs. He does Classic Mac game reviews, and he's also done some plug and play gameplay. Next up is SnowCon3. He has 513 subs. He does reviews. He has room tour videos up, and he does gameplay. Next up is Silver Mongoose videos. He has 2,259 subs. He does. He has video game memory. He has my take, where he has my take on, on certain subjects he talks about. He also has uh, videos on consoles, console reviews slash buyer's guides. He also has other reviews on other like cool items like controllers and figures and stuff. And then he has the other things that don't fit in any other category. Next up is Shock25SR. He has 97 subs. He does unboxing, plug and play, and he also has a video for troubleshooting the Sega Genesis package, pickups, tutorial, collection and video game memories and next up uh, to check out channel the last channel to check out actually I quit bumbling through it is 16 big gaming if you check out my channel page he's the one responsible for making my new background he sent it to me it worked what I think I'm gonna eventually do with the other background I was sent that I could never get to work for me is I think eventually I'll uh, probably uh, Twitter pick it and then put it on Twitter so people can actually see what it actually looked like since I have never gotten it up so Really cool background, ironically 16 bit game background actually fits me and my wife likes the color blue, so he was in there. Next up, videos to check out. The first one is by Scott Lewis Gaming, Turn Back the Clock, Zelda Anniversary Part 1. For those of you who don't know, Zelda just recently passed its 25th anniversary. Next up, next channel list uh, videos I'm going to shout is by Reg Lang. His first video is 8-Bit Trip. It's really cool with Legos, how it goes through you know, a bunch of old computers and like Pac-Man done by Legos. It's a really cool video. And his next video by the same person is called Inset, Insert Coins, where the coins change into different things uh, related to gaming. Really cool. Check that out. Next up is Luggy PS3. Uh, 
LBP2 Guinness Record Recap Part 1. If you want to see the video where they act, she actually plays Little Big Planet 2 for 50 hours straight, breaking the Guinness World Record when it actually happens, check this video out. Uh, and then uh, from that video, you can check out the second one, which shows what she actually won for beating the record, including the cool certificate. Next up is Jill Poo 3, Sega Junkie Tuesdays, episode 41. Play Alive's Unboxing and Too Much Bud Guy. So if you want to see some Sega stuff, check that video out with his usual humor. And next up is Gaming Intercast, Gaming Discussions, RPG Swag Man. So gaming, it's a 44 minute long video with him and RPG Swagman talking about RPGs and YouTube and stuff. So you're interested to check that out. And next up, Chipster's unboxing my latest edition of Nintendo. Uh, this is his first video back after being gone. And if you want to know what Nintendo, he got a Famicom system with a bunch of cool games. So if you're interested to check that out, I always love I love the artwork on Famicom games. Someday I want to get that system. Next up is Game Straighty One Game Talk Feet Pat the NES Punk. So if you want to uh, see two fellow YouTubers talking, just check that out. Next up is the J Zone Productions addressing the issues rant season one episode four greedy game developers. He actually does. Now listen, I don't like the term rant anymore. I really think a lot of people should be putting more discussions or debate. Because in this video, he does a really, really, really good job doing his points without, in a sense, ranting. He makes a good job making his points in this video. Next up is Cobra DVS Quest for the Best Movie Game, The Terminator. Now, in this new video series he's doing, it's where he compares the movie to the action. He compares the movie game to the actual movie it's based on. So you should check that out. And last but least, Jason Moore 87, Sex Game Band, We Dare Outrage. So if you want to on YouTube or on the internet, just type We Dare, We Game. Uh, this game is coming out for Europe and in the Wii and the PS3. It is basically an adult, I want to say sexual indo game. And in this video, he talks about how the outrage is that this game is banned. That Namco won't bring this Ubisoft, excuse me, won't bring this game here. But that, in like countries like Australia, the game is going to come out, but Mortal Kombat will not be allowed to come out over there. So check that video out. So guys, that's all for this video. So till my next one.